I'm exploring a brand new place today. I'm in Weehawken, New Jersey. It's right across from Midtown Manhattan along the Hudson River here. It's a rather small town, but there's a couple points of interest that brought me here. One of the things that intrigued me is the geography of this place. There's these massive cliffs that I could see all the way from Midtown Manhattan. It looked really cool, had to come and check it out. The other thing Weehawken is known for is its unfortunate history when it comes to dueling. Now, I just finished the amazing biography of Alexander Hamilton, the new one, highly recommend it. Excellent book, but it is here in Weehawken that he faced his rival, Aaron Burr, had his duel, which unfortunately led to the loss of his life. I gotta check out that spot, and there's tons of other things to check out today. Very excited, the weather is perfect out. Let's get this day started. Okay, I'm getting food first, so I somehow got to make it up that cliff there. Now, as far as I can tell, I don't think Weehawken is much of a culinary destination, but the whole point, I just want to find something quick so I can get right back to exploring this really interesting looking town. This is a really epic looking cliff, but how the hell do I get up there? I have found some stairs. Hope is in sight. That's a sizable amount of stairs. I should get a pretty good workout. All right, made it up one cliff. Amazing views here. I mean, this is incredible. So there's like one more cliff. It's kind of a, like a mini one, and that should be the area where there's restaurants. So my initial impressions of Weehawken so far, it's very pleasant. It's got a small town feel, but also an urban vibe to it. Plus it's so close to Manhattan. I mean, this Hudson Coast in New Jersey is practically like the sixth borough of New York City, but I like this. All right, so I'm here right now at a pleasant park along the Hudson River. Amazing view, just got some pizza, got three slices. They look pretty basic, but you know, I'm not in for anything special today. Just want something cheap and quick, and this fit the bill. So the slices are also pretty damn big. I think I might've gotten too much. I got three, but you know, if it's good, I can eat a lot. Solid, vegetable slice. There's vegetables, so it's healthy, right? So you got here a buffalo chicken slice. It's pretty good. Big pieces of chicken. Decent. My third slice is a chicken bacon ranch. They're pretty generous with the toppings, that's for sure. Decent slice. Not bad. I am full. I should have gotten two slices. I had three slices. It was good, but man, pizza is one of those things that kind of slows you down, really fills you up. But I'm gonna burn a hell of a lot more calories, so that'll take care of it. So Romano pizza, pretty decent. But the best part of this lunch, easily the view. I mean, look at this, this is amazing. With this view, you can almost see the entirety of Manhattan. You can see the George Washington Bridge all the way up there, going down to the Upper West Side. Coming along Lincoln Square. Then we have uh, Midtown here, the big skyscrapers. Coming along, there's the Empire State Building, Hudson Yards, going down further south, all the way to Lower Manhattan. I mean, amazing. And this row of homes, all pretty much the same, just stunning. With this weather and these views, I could stay here all day, but I really need some caffeine right now. Espresso, coffee, whatever, I just need it. And there's this interesting water tower I've heard about, so I'm gonna check that out as well. Uh, I can see the water tower right there, right in the distance, just gotta get closer to it.
Behind me is the Weehawken Water Tower and it is a beautiful structure. Apparently the architect was inspired by the Plaza Vecchio in Florence and I can see the similarities. It looks stunning. That was such a beautiful structure. So glad I saw that. Apparently at one time it was actually in danger of being torn down. Thankfully some people stepped in, preserved it. And speaking of being preserved, I need some espresso soon or else my days are numbered. Oh, thank God, caffeine. So my sanity is saved. I have my espresso here. It's actually pretty good espresso, not like some gas station crap. It is beautiful out. Believe it or not, this view is even better than the last park I was at. It's stunning. Just checked out Hamilton Park, another beautiful spot along the Hudson River here. I think it's probably named after Alexander Hamilton. Speaking of which, I'm gonna actually go to the spot where he had his fatal duel with Aaron Burr, and that should be right up ahead. I have made it to the dueling grounds of Weehawken. Many duels were fought here, the most famous being the one with Alexander Hamilton and Vice President Aaron Burr. It's such a shame what transpired here, all the lives lost over arguments of honor, disputes. It just seems so barbaric and strange these days, but yeah, it's quite a shame, but a lot of history here. So apparently the stone here was around when Alexander Hamilton and Burr fought their duel, and after Hamilton was shot, apparently he laid on this stone while he was dying. I believe that's a story. I'm not 100% certain, but it would make sense. Now, I do really like this bust of Alexander Hamilton. It fits perfectly against the skyline of the city that he made his mark in. So right now I'm just making my way down the Weehawken Riverfront here. The New York City skyline looks amazing now. This is the best time of the day. The sun is shining right at it, golden hour. It is stunning. The color is beautiful. Speaking of the sun, I clearly got sunburn today. Should've worn sunscreen. Hazards of travel. Summer is coming. I have to be prepared. By the way, there's some really stunning, old looking homes along the waterfront here. To have a nice home like that and the New York City skyline view, perfect. Just check out this vacant lot here. Amazing potential. If you wanted to build a home here, you've got views of the New York City skyline, the Empire State Building, Hudson Yards, the vessel. The possibilities are endless. What a piece of real estate. So nice, quiet, and peaceful in this neighborhood. I love it. Weehawken, I've really enjoyed my time here today. I can see why people would like this place. I mean, it's quiet, there's tons of space, but it's also right next to New York City, so you've got that awesome NYC life just right across the Hudson. Weehawken, I'm really enjoying this place. So, it is time to start heading home. It's been a wonderful day here in Weehawken. Just the views alone are worth coming here for. It's a really nice place. I'm really enjoying my time here. I'll definitely have to come back again. I mean, there's so many more photos to take here. Definitely have some battle scars from today. Got some good sunburn. Lesson learned. It's time to put the sunscreen back in the bag. Winter's over. It's springtime. Lots of exciting things in the future. Today is one good day. Can't wait to get back to Weehawken.
All right, quick update, back in Manhattan, took the ferry back. I was on the top deck, had like almost the entire boat to myself. That ride was awesome. The wind, seeing the Manhattan skyline, all the lights, the skyscrapers, the beautiful Hudson River, that was beautiful. Today was such a great day. I love traveling.